In this video, I'll explain how an Atmel I2C serial EE prom can be used, along with a Bosch BMP180 pressure temperature sensor, a real-time clock, and an Arduino to create an atmospheric pressure recording barometer. The project stores 96 hours of time-stamped pressure data, displaying real-time pressure data and graphing the stored data on a Nokia 5110 LCD using the U8G graphics library. Now the EEPROM module used in this project is actually two I2C devices on a single module. An Atmel AT24C32 32K bit, which is 4K byte EEPROM, and a Maxim integrated DS1307 real time clock. Now DX.com sells the module for less than $3 US, but discrete modules, or even the bare ICs from other sources, will function just as well. Now the I2C Bosch BMP180 module was also purchased from DX.com for just under $3 US, but again a module from any source will work. The BMP180 is only available in a surface mounted package, so unless you're especially talented at soldering surface mounted devices, a module is really the only option available. Now, display of the pressure data is accomplished via a Nokia 5110 96 by 48 pixel LCD connected via SPI. Now, a wide variety of displays could be used for output, although it would require modifying the source code since the program was written specifically for the 5110. Now, the wiring is very straightforward for this particular project. The two I2C devices, the BMP180 uh, sensor module and the real-time clock and EEPROM module are both I2C devices, so they're connected in parallel or yeah, in parallel on the uh, I2C bus. And the display is connected via SPI. Now note that my display may have a different pinout than a display that you may have and it may require wiring it differently in order to make the display work. But overall it's very simple and straightforward. As you can see there's really not much to it. Now although the code looks fairly complicated, it's really pretty straightforward. Basically all the program does is display real-time pressure data from the pressure sensor as well as storing a pressure reading every 15 minutes in the EEPROM and displaying a pressure trend graph of the last 96 hours of pressure data. Now in order to avoid unnecessary writes to the EEPROM because it does have a limited number of write cycles. It takes the next data to be stored and overwrites the oldest data and then stores a pointer to the beginning of the data even if it's in the middle of the array. Now, there's a number of libraries used in the code. One here for the EEPROM, one for the I2C, two for the pressure sensor, two for the real-time clock and the graphics library. Now here instances are declared of each of the classes. There is a number of declared variables relative to various parts of the program here. Now the setup routine initializes all of the objects used by the program, the graphics library, the sensor, the real-time clock. It gets a time from the real-time clock, stores it in the Arduino, setting the Arduino's clock and it also initializes the EEPROM library as well and makes sure that it's able to communicate with the EEPROM. It then reads that pointer from the EEPROM to the oldest pressure event stored. This is just a function that centers text on the display. Uh, the create time string subroutine creates the time and date stamp that appears at the bottom of the display. 
this subroutine takes one event that has been read from the EEPROM and stores the timestamp and the pressure in variables. This is a graphic subroutine that controls what's currently being displayed, be it an error screen, the current time and pressure, or the graph displaying the last 96 hours of pressure data that it's read from the EEPROM. So the program first reads that pointer that points to the oldest data, and it reads starting at the pointer to the end of the data, storing the pressure data in an array called graph. It then picks up at the beginning of the array and continues reading up to the pointer to get the rest of the data, again storing the data in graph. It then determines the range of pressures from high to low and uses that to scale the graph so that it always fits on the screen. Now this first part of the main loop, it displays whatever screen is appropriate and while doing that in the background it's reading the current pressure determining if a 15 minute timestamp is necessary to be stored and if it is converts the timestamp and the pressure reading into an array which it then writes to the EEPROM and updates the index position to the EEPROM.